What's good YouTubers, your boy Drippy and in today's video I'm going to break down another music video but this time I'm going to do a bit different, I'm going to do it live in the flesh and just break down my process whilst I'm shooting. Today we're shooting in London, as you can see we've got some nice symmetrical lines, some nice composition. So basically right now I'm just going to get some performance scenes with the artist. going to go for one close handheld, one wide handheld and then another gimbal like I normally do, normally call it the free selection. Is it a wide is it? No, nah, no, nah, I'm going to be in between mix up. Yeah, we try not to come too forward, yeah? Yeah, there we go. Good, good. So basically, we just finished, wrapped up the performance scene and the drone shots. And now I'm just going to get some cutaways. What are you calling yourself now? Light skin? Yeah, yeah the light skin don't need. So basically, you're you going to go over there. It's whatever. It's my nephew, so I got extra time for him. But if it wasn't, I'll tell you, I'll be gone right now. Yeah, pretend like you're up and forward, innit? Just spit your buzz, yeah. Hold, hold, up your, hold up your set then, fam. Mm -hmm. Cool, so now we're in location two. Just finished upstairs getting the performance scenes and cutaways. We're going to shoot a scene here, where he's just going to be sat down, we're going to get a couple of performance scenes. And then over here, we're going to get a performance scene on the stairs. Uh, one of the things I liked about this location, if you just come me a second, the stairs and how the light drops down. As you guys are going to see in the example, the way the light drips down, it creates a nice cast shadow around the artist. So it just helps create dramatic lighting and that's one of the benefits of shooting in a shadowy place with a lighting source that comes directly down. Ah, loving this one still. And uh, we were going to shoot a video here, but we ended up not shooting a video here because there's better locations we found out. So now we're in location three, it's just like a basically I don't even know how to describe this. It's just an open plan, urban place again. Um, we're going to have the artists around this area and I'm going to shoot on my gimbal in and out. Just some more dramatic shots so we can uh, edit up and post. Perfect, perfect. So now we're at the final location. I'm just going to have the artist stood under the light directly so I can get a nice shallow depth of field and nice clarity on their skin from the light. And then I think I'm just going to get a couple of gimbal shots and a handheld and call it a day. Isn't it, Mandem? <laughs> But yeah, other than that, that's it. The final take. Go back, go back. Yeah, go back, go back. Cool, so now it's the last take. Just gonna get a quick handheld take. And then that's it, innit? Do you wanna shout? Do you wanna shout out your shit? Uh sexy boy, caramel.com. I'm joking, light skin from the six. Yeah, he's been on my channel before, you've seen him in two other videos. So basically right now I'm going upstairs because I seen like a nice point where I can get some B-roll. I'm going to get a top down shot, that's for a cutaway. And if you look over there, I don't know if you'll be able to see. You can see that he's down there. I know, so right now what I'm doing is getting some cutaways. I normally get them after the last performance shot or before, just depending. Just to add stuff to mix in between the shoots, it's very important. I did that at all the other locations as well, but... When I was in the groove, I didn't really feel to film it. It's the end of the shoot. Thanks for watching the video. And thanks to JP Photography for doing the behind the scenes. She's behind the camera right now. Make sure to follow her on her Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram down below. Also my Instagram, at drippyvisuals underscore. And that's it. This video has been a bit of a mess, but it's the first time in it. Fuck you lot, don't subscribe for something I did.